What is up guys? Solid Nate here and I'm back again. Today I have a video that I've been highly anticipating to make and that is to look at the whole cyberpunk situation on PS4 and the 1.5 patch and really just go hard on my thoughts and really look at a no holds bar approach. It's been over two days guys. I think it's been about 60 hours. And so what I, what I want to do is I just got home. It's about 9.30 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, let me look. The 17th. Yes, this uh, February 17th. 9.30 p.m. So the developers have had two and a half days to fix this issue. And I, what I'm going to do to start the video is just turn on the PS4 and see if it works. Before we get into today's video... Let me remind you guys to please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. And without further ado, let's see if this game's going to work today. All right, guys, I'm on my PlayStation now, and the disc is not in the system. I actually was playing Shadow of Mordor last night, but let's see what happens if I just press go on this. Okay, insert the disc. Let's try it. I think my hopes are extremely low, but we're going to try this right now live. Here comes the moment of truth. The disc is inserted. It's thinking. It's probably going to tell me I have corrupt data, but uh, yeah, go ahead and close God of War. That's cool. Yeah. See, that's what I fucking thought. All right. That's what I freaking thought. All right, guys. Where do I begin with this today? <laughs> There's a lot of things to talk about. Um... For example, this patch has been out since Tuesday. Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. And during that time, I went to work two days. I went to the gym one day. I went to a volleyball league that day. I went out and had some beers with friends and dinner and things like that. I've, I've been doing a lot. CD Projekt Red. How many employees do you have working for you? How many really smart minds do you have working for you? I would imagine that you have a lot, okay? It's been over two days, guys. We heard nothing from the company other than we know there's a problem, you know? Don't they have some smart people over there that can look into this and figure out what was going on or what, what they're going to do? At least have some communication with the PS4 people? I made a lot of videos on this, and it's very clear that people are getting restless. They're getting very sick and tired of, just, 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 just think of this. They bought this game, and they literally cannot play it. That's just like a crime, you know? They took your money, but you can't, you can't use it, you know? Like, for example, that's just like this. That's like selling you a concert ticket, canceling the concert, and not giving them their money back, you know? It's the same type of thing. You can't do it, you know? So there's this massive problem, and it seems like CD Projekt Red does not care. They just pulled the rug out from under us, guys. And I think the reason is, is because this is all about the money, Sonny. <laughs> this is all about the money. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? And they think the money is up in this PS5. We've already paid our money, guys. We already put in our whatever we paid, $5, you know, $30, $25, $50, whatever we paid. I paid 5 whatever. I'm lucky. I got a cheap price. But the bottom line is people that haven't bought the game, PS5 people, you know, that's who they want to cater this to. This is a next-gen upgrade. Us on the old gen, we got left behind. Will they ever fix this at all? is a question I really have now. Um, remember guys, the video I made two days ago, I said Friday at 11.59pm um, PM is the deadline for reasonableness. Will they have it fixed by that time? And I'm going to say it's looking really bad. I would really have to say no. It's going to go further into the future. And I'm starting to feel like it's going to be a long way into the future. So hey guys, I would... 
I would, I would make a decision if I was you and look at my other video where I said if you want to really get past this, you can rebuy it on the electronic version, but I think most of us aren't going to stand for that. I think most of us are going to say, fuck that, we paid for the game, I'm not going to rebuy it again, right? And I think that's the way a person with a, a person that wants to stand for the principle of the matter would handle it, right? Uh, me, man, I loved my cyberpunk times, guys. I thought it was a great game. This was my game of the year 2022. <laughs> I know we're just getting into the year, but it was the game I was having the most fun with out of anything I was playing, and I was just loving it, guys. But I'm not going to buy it again. You know, I just won't do it. 25 bucks that's five times more than I paid for the disc version. Why should I have to do that? I'm not going to do it. But um, I think that's probably the easiest way to go about this. So what I'm going to say, though, is it's time to look for another game, guys. It's time to look for another game. I think... Um, Geez, to be honest, the best time to play Cyberpunk 2077 isn't going to be for another two years or something like that. I'm not saying necessarily that it won't work on the PS4 for that long. I don't know. But the developers obviously have a, a shit storm going on. They don't know how to fix all this stuff. They're still patching the shit out of this game. It's a nightmare. It's a disaster. It's insane. It's the one of the craziest things we've ever seen uh, in video games. The only thing that really comes close to this is, I think it was a game called Duke Nukem Forever, which, did, did that come out? I know there's a Duke Nukem game that came out that I'm not sure if it's called what I think it is, if it's called Duke, Duke, Duke Nukem Forever, but um, I know the Duke Nukem game that they were thinking it was going to be called Duke Nukem Forever did come out, and it was a massive mess, and nobody liked the game. It quickly went from a $60 game to like a $3 game, and same fate's been happening to Cyberpunk too. so... It's a nightmare. Things like this don't happen very often. Um, this will be really crazy to see if they completely just rug pull us and just say that, nope, this is not supported on the PS4 anymore. That's going to be insane. They're going to have to find something to like reimburse us then. We paid money for this game. Like I said, even if it's just five bucks for me, I still paid to have the game and I want to play it. So how are you going to fix that for me, right? <laughs> you have to do something. So yeah, um... That's what I was thinking about all this stuff right now. There's a bunch of other things to cover as well. There's a guy that's been hitting me up. Um, man, I can't remember his name even right now, but he's going to know who he is when I talk about him. And he says that he's in this forum for CD Projekt Red, and they've been, like, banning people that have been speaking out against this stuff, you know? And many people are wondering, like, where's all the big YouTubers? Why isn't uh, the big people like IGN and everyone else talking about this? You know, is there something sinister going on here? You know, who knows? But there's a lot of people speculating about that. So, it is kind of strange. Why Why? Why am I the uh, 200, 300 sub YouTuber, the only guy on YouTube or in the world talking about this big mess? There's a lot of cyberpunk players in the world, guys. Look at all the people watching these videos. There's a lot of people that are that are into this game. Where's the media? Why am I the media? I'm just a guy. I'm just like a... You know, I'm just a player of the game that got fucked. Uh, I actually have it I have it on my channel. And you know what? I'm going to edit in my reaction to when I got screwed over right about now. And you guys can take a look and see what my reaction was when I realized that the update, the update broke my game. No! Uh-oh. I was just using the health enhancement. Okay, that's good enough. Um, let's get out of here and... Options. We'll actually close the application. So I'm thinking right about now the game's ready to go, wouldn't you think? It just installed! Whoa! Guys, look what happened! No! Oh, no! What? Oh, fuck! Guys! Fuck, I hope we didn't lose everything.
delete the application and start again? No, let's not try that, actually. Okay, let's... Fuck, dude. There was there would have been no way around that anyway, by the way. It just was like a night. Let's actually just... Turn it off. Oh, no. wonder if anybody else encountered that. That's devastating. Okay, can we please just play the game? Don't, don't, don't rug pull me, guys, please. Ah! Ah! What? Delete the application? Can I... Can I go back? Various game fixes and improvements, like breaking the entire fucking game? I wonder if this locks out PS4 Slim people. See, I was scared of that. I'm like, I don't want... It's not broken. Do not fix it. It was working fine enough. I got rug pulled. So yeah, that's about it. That's what happened there. I was just like, whoa, what happened? I knew I shouldn't have installed this because I was actually playing it that night, having fun with the game, and I decided like, oh, okay. It's probably installed. It's probably ready to go. And then my game was just broken. I haven't been able to get in since. Like I said, guys, it's been 60 hours. Think of all the things you've done in that time. And think of all the people at CD Projekt Red and all the, all the manpower they have, all the resources. And they're choosing not to focus on this. Why not? This is crazy. They have to focus on this, right? Don't they? I mean, this is nuts, guys. So anyway, kind of like big time rant. People are getting really sick of it. It's getting, uh, it's getting to the point where we're kind of losing hope and faith in this uh, company. And this game even, honestly, as much fun as I was having, it's like, well, I can't even play the game. You know, I don't, I don't want to have to keep chasing around after it, right? And have to like, oh, I'm going to buy a PS5. Well, good luck even finding a PS5, you know? I've never seen a PS5. They're never around. You know, you want to buy a PS5 online, the bots snap it up. They're never going to be in, a sh in the shelves on the stores. They're never going to be on a short st shelf. It's never going to happen, maybe for like three years down the road. But not going to happen anytime soon. So yeah, guys, that is the mess we're dealing with right now. I'll be watching really closely tomorrow. I'll be looking for sure, and I'll be doing the same thing. Um, I'll be coming home and just seeing if it's going to work, but 11.59 p.m., that's the timeline, timeline I'm looking at, guys. So that's when I want this to be fixed. That's what I think is reasonable. If they can't do it, I'm out. I'm not going to be thinking about Cyberpunk for a while. I got a lot of other games to play. I got God of War to play, Dragon Quest XI. I have uh, Bloodborne, I want to play Sekiro, uh, Shadow of Mordor, great PlayStation 4 games, lots of them, i got a bunch, you know, I still have to get back to Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, I have a ton of games to play. So, this is their last chance to get me to play, and uh, I want to play, because hey man, I was telling people about this game, I was hyping it up, I was just loving it, so... This is their time where they have to get me as a fan. They're, they're, they're going to lose me as a fan if they don't fix this up pretty soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, what, that's what's going on, guys. So, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Remember to subscribe and like. And until the next time, guys, we'll be in touch. I'll talk to you later. Yeah.